hi everyone welcome to my channel thank you everyone for liking and subscribing and hi to all my new subscribers thank you and welcome i've got mystical medleys on the table i call them the my bad boys and sometimes they give me a hard time so let's just see if they're going to play nice tonight but we've got we've got cards we've got the rebranding Harry of Sussex and this has stemmed from a photo that I saw earlier during the week on social media where the poor darling definitely has problems with you know his auntie's feathers and a yellow candle doesn't he you know um so this time I just thought well there's a sign there's a sign why not read about it why not read about this rebranding because i thought it was absolutely ludicrous that you know he's still trying to sue uh the met police or or whatever in uk uh, for his uh, security for his ipp and yet uh, doesn't hesitate to advertise harry solo in itinerary wow fancy that he's going solo He's allowed out. Oh, I don't know where they're going with that. Short of, if I was a lawyer fighting the case, I'd be saying, well, here you go. Why are you advertising it? If you're so worried about your security, why are you advertising it? You know? what's Where's your security? You know, where, sorry, not so much where's your security, but, you know, you don't need security. Why would we give you security when you start, you know, saying things like that? This is all merching. This is all rebranding. That's what I think anyway. So when I, I saw that sign and I thought, well, you know, okay, fair enough. Forget about the IPP status because to me that was a breach, right? But where is he going with this? Who is he representing? He's not a working royal, right? So who is he representing? He's, he's trying to be a global advocate. And I do know that all these all these charities or all these functions, bar one, which is, you know, obviously a Democrat one, uh, which is, <laughs> yeah, there's another reading on that one. Um, it it it's all pre pre, you know, it makes it. So, are we still going and working on this? bring harry in from the cold which is another reading as well uh, is that what we're doing so let's find out what the cars have to say let's find out about this rebranding of of harry of sussex well he just wanted to know be known as just harry right three of pentacles well of course there's some sort of plan isn't there he's got some sort of plan and it's money motivated too so uh, I do believe that there was a blind out saying that there was a speech he was doing and so he didn't look like a fool. He's actually paid uh, for someone that was presidential to come or, or write it or teach him or whatever. So, yeah. Huh. You've got the Hierophant Reverse, Queen of Cups, oh, of course. Three of Swords, of course. Queen of Cups, Three of Swords and the Hierophant Art Reverse. Well, absolutely nothing to do with the royal family here or the monarchy, the whole kit and cadoodle here, the hierarchy, the monarch, um, the firm, nothing to do with that. That is negative. Um, sadly, he is betraying, with the Three of Swords reverse, he is betraying his mother's legacy by cashing in on her all the time. But he seems to think that he's going to work on a plan by speaking cutting through the truth and speaking the truth here with the ace of swords so this is a brand new beginning of him this is a brand new rebranding and this is confirmation that we're on the right track so it probably doesn't hurt with me being busy during the week not having enough time to you know catch up with certain things and find out where he's at um at the time of reading he's still in new york uh, I think he's only got one thing to go and then he will be off to well child in in uh, the UK you know all his charities pre mix it next sign is the four of swords the ten of cups and the five of of wands so the in-house betrayal the fighting the chaos and bedlam I think he's just given up He's just given up about 
you know, having happy families with the Ten of Cups, he, abs he, he needs to give it a rest. He needs to give it a rest. Whether he's, he's tired or whether he's uh, just dealing with one thing at a time, with the Four of Swords, he's going, you know, right, I'll do this charity and I'll do travellers and and then what else was I involved in? Oh, yes, um, African parks. Mm. Um, mm, okay, what else was I involved in? Oh, yes, yes, so I better pop over to, to you know, say hello to all the uh, Democrats and, and, you know, mm. <laughs> but then, well, child, because that was also another one. So I think maybe, just maybe, this is what he's doing. He's taking it slowly. He is rebranding. We've got the Three of Pentacles here, Confirmation, and the Ace of Swords. So it's a new beginning of words. Can we put salad after that? I really, really have no idea. I did pick up a little snippet of, of what he was saying and I just, yeah, had no idea what he was trying to say. Um, Eight of Pentacles, working, working hard at it, working hard at it and there's money involved. So there you go. There's verification, not only from the Three of Pentacles. Um, there's there's money. He's getting. He's actually getting paid for this. This is not a voluntary thing. This is, he's actually getting paid for this, allegedly entertainment purposes only. But he's got the tower here. I think he knows because of everything that's happened. He's got to start from the ground up. He's got to rebuild. Okay, rebrand. Okay, this is what my cards are telling me. He's got to rebrand. And there we are. There we are, Ace of Pentacles. He's offering himself up to the world. I had suspected this. I suspected that he was trying to be a global advocate in front of all these leaders because he really would not have had a seat anywhere close to these people and being able to speak on a panel or, you know, even though the microphone was in front of half of his title, I mean, Harry of Sussex really does suit him. He just wants to be Harry. Definitely selling. He's, he's technically up for sale, allegedly entertainment purposes only, with the Ace of Pentacles. You've got to say, screw or he reverse. Well, that, that's made him angry. So I wonder what he's angry about. Angry. Why is he angry? Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, Pentacles are reversed, and the Five of Swords. What is he angry about and what is he defensive about? Something that he's taken away and stolen from the palace, allegedly entertainment purposes only, because he knows he will never be the king. He knows that. And he also knows that... Um, the the legacy and his um in well his inheritance he's you know probably popping over there to sign the check or whatever um he does know that or he thinks he's winning winning that's what he thinks I can just see people going winning <laughs> yeah no a bit like that winning right but he's not. He's not. He's hurt a lot of people. There's been a lot of betrayal. We know that, so I'm not going to rehash all that. The cards are verifying that as well. I think the in-house battle, I don't see that as the Hierophant. I see that as his own immediate family, which is what the Ten of Cups is, is the immediate family. I do believe that he's now understood with what has happened this last week. And with her too, which I'll in, yeah. Um, he's realised he's had to rebrand and he's had to go it alone. And and this is exactly what he's doing. With the Tower Reverse and the Three of Pentacles, it's exactly what he's doing. I don't think for one minute that he's building up a legacy. 
I think he wants to, but he's not being very, very successful about it. But it's definitely, it's like the Seven of Swords, you know, where someone like sneaks behind your back kind of thing, right? This is what I'm getting with this card at the moment and the energies. He's very, very defensive of it where he's entitled, you know, He's entitled to do, to do what he's doing on the back, not only of his of his mother, but also of the monarchy. So you've got the two, you've got the two major cards up here. You've got the court card and the major arcana, and that is what he's doing. He's rebranding on the coattails of the royal family, of the monarchy itself, and of his mother's legacy. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. He thinks he's winning. Six of Swords. Page of Swords. No, wow, Nine of Swords. The Hermit. Oh, dear, the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Attack, attack. Unbelievable. Back straight together. One in mainstream media. The other one on social media, just attack, attack, and a change, a change of the narrative for the hermit, for Harry the hermit, to move into calmer waters with the Six of Swords. But you know what? You know what? He's trying to level it up. He's trying to level up what has happened in the past. I think this also comes from rebuilding with the tower from the ground up. He's trying to level up. It's his reputation. He knows he's got to give it a rest. He knows there's certain things with the four swords uh, up here earlier. He knows he's got to give certain things a rest. Ironically, ironically, maybe a light bulb came on for him. But he's not changing a lot. It's it's still very, very money motivated. It's still extremely money motivated and still very, very defensive. But deep down, deep down, he knows he's got to stop on and make his own legacy because being on the coattails of, well, you could say his mother and his father, right, it's not working. It's just not working. Okay, one more time, but I think we got the story. All right, six of wands, four as uh, six of wands upright, four of wands. Sorry, six of wands reverse, four of wands upright, chariot, emperor, and the ten of swords. I think he also knows that he's got to level the playing field because basically what he's doing, he's not going to win. He's not going to win at all. Not only does he know he's got to give up all this in-house in battle to try and make happy immediate families, he's also got his, his uh, other family here now. You've got the king and you've also got William come out from home. So this is where we're going now. We're going back to the UK. But you know what? You know what's going to happen in the UK? Maybe, just maybe, and I'll say allegedly and entertainment purposes only, what is going to happen in the UK is not going to help him at all. Not going to help him at all. Because he's going home, right? And there's an event that's your well child. And... It's reverse, and there's your ruin card. You know, there's he's saying he's got the fingers up here. You know, peace, 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 with all the knives in his back. So, if we see him happy, you know that's all for the for the shots for the paper. You know, for the for the paps or the or the negative things that are being presented about him and he's trying to change it this is the uk this is what's going to happen next week allegedly entertainment purposes only 
both William and Charles will come out and shine as usual. I do not know what they've got on next week, but they will shine. And, um, yeah, he, he knows. He knows he's ruined. He knows he's ruined, so he's not going to win. He's definitely not going to win. However, in America, he's definitely rebranding. It's just not going to work in the UK, allegedly entertainment purposes only. Probably because he can't be the royal in the UK. He can be the pretend or cosy royal or whatever, right, outside of the UK and outside of the Commonwealth to certain places. He can pretend or be cosy or, or whatever to be a working royal and act like a working royal. But in the UK... And in Australia, we all get it. We all know. I can't speak for other countries, but I'm sure Canada gets it too. We all know. We all know the story. Hmm. So, rebranding of Harry of Sussex. Yes, that's correct. That little sign that I got, that was, again, I'm sure it was an error. It was just the way that the photo was taken. I don't think there was any malice in it. So it doesn't look like it's Photoshop because the other mics look exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's trying his hardest with all these global leaders to be a global advocate. I think with his IPP status, he's just blowing this advertising. And as for coming back in the cold, it's not looking too good. Not looking too good at all. Not in, not in his hometown. Not in his hometown. But let's just see. Let's just see what happens in the next week and and the fallout after that. All right. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.